What's up everyone, welcome back. So I just got back from my first ever Tesla takeover event. It was hosted by the Tesla owners of Silicon Valley out in San Luis Obispo, California, which is only about 15 minutes from the coastline. I have a lot to share with you and just a little time to do it, so let's get started. The event started out with a custom light show coordinated by Simon from Tesla Light Shows. Uh, he's actually over in the UK and he came over here for this event. But look at this Cybertruck shaped light show. It was absolutely amazing to be a part of and see in person. Then we roll into the event. The event itself was composed of over 70 vendors ranging from you know your small startup company to to really large you know uh, companies that support Tesla, including Tesla Energy who actually came out here and built a house, uh, put a solar roof and a power wall on it, which I thought was pretty cool. There was also a uh, custom Tesla contest where a bunch of Tesla owners from across the country showed off their custom Teslas, including this beautiful Star Wars themed Model 3. Uh, my nerd side kind of came out on this one and I love to see this thing in per person. And, but something that was really impressive with is this kind of Day of the Dead themed Model Y. Uh, the owner of this vehicle definitely put a lot of effort into this. And then we also have Will's beautifully wrapped uh, Model 3 representing uh, Tesla Club owners of SoCal. Also, this was not just a Tesla event. Other EVs came out to play as well, including this really sweet uh, EV Volkswagen bus. And also Ford brought out a Red Bull theme, kind of Ford Lightning as well. I actually think this was uh, somebody's uh, a private owner's vehicle. And also, you know, you can't forget about Lucid. A bunch of Lucid owners, as well as Will's Porsche Taycan over there in the background. So they brought just their vehicles out to show off, including heavy hitter Rivian. Uh, Rivian came up as well and brought their entire lineup, including this sweet R1S, which after seeing one of these in person, I'm honestly a huge fan of the R1S. And then also Lightship came out as well and brought their uh, startup RV. Can't wait to see more of that. So just when I thought the party was done for the first day of Tesla takeover, I was mistaken. So I was actually invited to an after party at an arcade bar in downtown Slow, where I got to hang out with some of the biggest Tesla content creators in the entire world. And you know, for a guy with a small following, I thought that was actually really cool. It was super fun and these people are super awesome to party with, 10 out of 10 recommend. I was actually able to also engage with a bunch of people I've been communicating with you know, on social media for like a couple of years now. So I was really happy to meet everyone. I tried to get pictures with everyone I could. The only I missed was Tesla Flex. Brandon said, sorry, I didn't get a picture with you. Uh, next time we meet up at the next Tesla event, uh, I'll make sure that we get a picture together. So we'll wrap up the video with two companies that stood out to me at Tesla Takeover, and that is Aptera, and that is EVject. And then we'll hear some final words from our key like guest speaker at Tesla, Tesla Takeover, and that's May Musk herself. I was actually really honored to hear her speak. I tried to get some video footage, but it was a bit windy out, so I apologize for that. But yeah, there we go. Aptera is a startup company out of California, which offers a vehicle with up to a thousand miles of range on a single charge, as well as up to 40 miles per day gained on solar charging, which I thought was pretty cool. There's also another company that I really enjoyed, and that is a company called EVject. So this connector connects to your connector at the supercharger, and this will allow you to actually break away your cable safely to avoid any danger and not cause any damage to your vehicle. We have Wikipedia, but in those days there was encyclopedias. So he would read an encyclopedia and we would read an encyclopedia. And it probably didn't make any more. 